Hi, I'm Erin Conrad, and this is the body of work that I created for the On Dawes Hotel, Napa, California. I was blown away the first time I stepped foot into the On Dawes Hotel. The overall feeling was cool and chic, yet it had an old, earthy way about it where it wasn't too modern and too glossy. You know, there, with the wood finishes and the dark leather, and there was so much that was bound in the earth that I thought was really incredible. Richard Von Saul's work was already installed and I love his work. It's very masculine, there's tons of gravity in it. And so thinking about how I could help benefit the space without really changing the things that I loved about it already and how my work could fit in and maybe influence the space in a direction I was immediately drawn to the fact that it felt like a man to me, the On Dawes did, and that I could maybe bring to the table something a little bit more feminine. You know, I, some friends tease me, I have very long hair, it's pulled in a bun now, but that um, my work has my hair in every piece because it's really fluid and there's this motion to it, and I would agree with that. I really emphasize a lot of my work on bringing movement to my panels. and. I, having a good sense of negative space, but also of having something that's deeply feminine. And so I was really excited to be able to bring that to the walls and contribute that to this amazing space. When the Andas came to me and approached me about creating a body of work for the downstairs salon, we talked about making something that was local and regional, characteristic wise to be able to bring in something meaningful that happened in the region. And the first thing I thought of, I just couldn't help but get this image of a vineyard landscape out of my head. And inside I was like, no, no, I don't want to make a vineyard landscape. So it was kind of a fun uh, thing to figure out how to make something about the wine country that I didn't want to make about wine. In essence, my body of work called Fruition is about these big ideas, these big dreams that different individuals came up with and were brave enough to spread out into the world, kind of in the form of seeds. And those seeds have taken root all over the globe and it have influenced many different things, the way we eat, the way we drink a glass of wine, where it's grown, who we share it with. The whole business of wine too, it used to be, you know, family, Run and that it was something that was incredibly hard to break into. You had to be French and be born in France and have somehow bamboozle your way into owning a plot of French land and you know that we've changed all of that. Now we're growing wines in Chile and Argentina and South Africa and it's just really amazing. And then the slow food movement I was really, really taken by because now there's all these gastro pubs and farm to fork tables opening up in New York and you know uh, you, there's cooking schools in Europe that are specializing from farm to fork and you know it was Cindy Paulson and Alice Waters that are you know so close to the Napa Valley and in the Napa Valley that were on the forefront they were women which I think is incredible so the large yellow dandelion piece uh, is the fruition series the piece is called sustenance and it's paying homage to the Mustard Grill and the Mustard Festival that's taken place in the valley for years celebrating farm before cuisine. So each one of my panels begins is just lumber at Home Depot that's constructed into a wood panel then taken back to my studio where I putty all the holes and I sand them and then I prime my, my panels and then I start thinking about what different color is going to symbolize meaning behind my piece. I hand mix my own colors. I feel like it's really important to incorporate many different tones and shades that are each meaningful into the final product. I love monochromatic paintings, so I'm very, very drawn to that in my work. I use oil uh, paint to do most of the line work and acrylic paint. I'm very drawn to using metal leaf, so I use gold and silver and copper metal leaf on my panels. I try to not use paint brushes whenever possible, so I use lots of sponges, paint pens, uh, glue for the metal leaf portion, and then I embed all my painting between layers of 
resin. So I'm really concerned about making sure that I'm using resin for meaning that is helping support my pieces. I don't want to make something that uh, the meaning, the medium is not also a key essential part of the piece. So all of my work has to deal with either things that are suspended in water or suspended in air because literally I'm suspending paint between layers. So in the Fruition series, the dandelion pieces, you know, you'll see seeds that are suspended in the atmosphere. And then with uh, the koi fish pieces and some of my other work that are more aquatic based, you know, fit, the way their fins are moving or everything, it's something that could not happen, you know, without being suspended in space. So I use the resin between the layers, not only to create dimension, but also to support a clearer, more meaningful medium for the image that um, I'm portraying.